my goobs, it's me, Brew, your friendly neighborhood sack of potatoes. <laughs> Send out the bat signal and I will be here ready to uh, to bless all of your Pokemon pulls. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on my goose? I wanted to do this video as Thanksgiving-ish themed as possible Which is why I'm looking like a little pumpkin pie over here uh, <laughs> Because this will be my last video before Thanksgiving and then after Thanksgiving I will be working on editing uh, my my video. I'm so excited I finished the like 30 page script for it. I scripted an educational TCG Series and it's going to be a three-part series series that I'm trying to release next week in succession. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is the goal for this. Um, and it's going to teach you absolutely everything you need to know about getting into and playing Pokemon TCG, which I'm so excited for. I started this channel as a Pokemon player. Granted, I was a super noob Pokemon player. I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> but the one constant thing that has always remained is I'm extremely passionate about the Pokemon TCG And I strongly believe that everyone who collects cards should also play because I genuinely think it gives you a new perspective on Pokemon and it makes you value the game uh, and the cards so much more So I'm very passionate about it and I've had this information and I've known this information for so long I just wanted to share it with you all so I finally sat down wrote out 30 pages of this uh, educational script. Oh my god, it took forever. <laughs> but I'm gonna turn it into some informational videos, which I'm so excited about. So that will be out hopefully next week if everything goes as planned. But for today, my home skillet biscuits, we're opening some vivid voltage, some saturated electricity uh, ETBs today. These are elite trainer boxes. So let's get into these ETBs. Woohoo! Actually, first, let's check out this turkey boy. So cute. Can anyone guess who he is? Probably kind of obvious. I swear if I get one comment about his beak, I'm done, all right? <laughs> all right, my goobs, here we go. Vivid Voltage. I actually love these ETBs. They're very vibrant. Uh, they're very, <laughs> should I say, vivid. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I couldn't help it, man. I couldn't help it. I need help. <laughs> Our goal card today, the monkey boy, Mr. Shiny, secret rare, a Ranguru. I cannot tell you how many messages I've gotten. DMs saying, boo, I pulled him. I pulled your monkey boy. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so sad at the same time that I can't pull this dang secret Ranguru. It's it's pretty pretty lame. I never go through these books with you guys. Did you guys know it actually has the whole set in here? Um, man, I haven't looked at these books in a hot minute. So I mean, you can use this kind of as like a, a catalog, uh, in person catalog, and it's super cute. So that's pretty great. Oh my goodness! Wow, he's actually on the box. Wow. That's very, very adorable. <laughs> oh, Chunky too. He knows the way to my heart, man. He knows the way to my heart. Inside the box. What's in the box? <laughs> I can't help but think of that like every time I open one of these. Um, they actually just recently started putting these in here. It's the TCG rules, which is actually really, really cool. So I don't know if you guys ever read this, but if you do start playing the TCG, this is a great little handy dandy notebook to have with you if you ever forget some of the rules of the game. And then inside here, we got the sleeves. Oh my gosh, I still haven't scanned one of these code cards in uh, for the actual online sleeves. We got a brick of energy as well, but I really, really want to because I have a couple of decks I want to sleeve up with that chunk at you. Um, these dice, I'm like, eh. I actually rolled around with these dice a little bit and the more I looked at them, the more I liked the colors. So never mind, I take that back. And then we also have Brada Bing Brada Boo for dividers as well, which I use when I organize uh, all my Pokemon cards for the Vivid Voltage row. I'll put these in there so I know it's Vivid Voltage. So that's handy dandy as well. Okay, and then there's eight packs in ETBs. Elite trainer boxes, so let's get into these. Also, quick sponsor shout out to Flipside Gaming and Potown. As always, I wouldn't be able to get as much product as I do or build my online collection to play with decks and everything without them both. So thank you guys so much. I have uh, codes in my description box if you guys do want to order from either of them. 
That'll get you percentage off of anything you buy with them. Sounds hype. Reverse holo zip strike it, boy. Electric reverse holo for us in the first one. That's fitting. And <gasps> Yan Mega, non holo. So for these ETBs, it's always kind of a toss up what you're gonna pull. Usually I only get like one pull out of an ETB. I honestly don't really have like super good ETB luck. Like I honestly, at this point, I only buy the ETBs for, ooh, fist bump energy for the, uh, for the sleeves and for the code card and for the dice. Uh, because otherwise I would just be buying booster boxes or singles. Honestly, oh my gosh. <gasps> Salivy, dude! Yo, this is a solid pull. Absolutely, oh my gosh, I wonder if this, oh, I thought that was gonna be a pull too. Wow, for some reason, I always thought the Amazing Rares were always in a hollow pack. Like, I thought the last card had to be a hollow if you got an Amazing Rare, but I guess that's not true. So, um, wow, this is so beautiful. Oh my God, this is my least pulled Amazing Rare is Celebi. I've only pulled like, I think one of them, which is kind of insane. Absolutely gorgeous, and I just realized I do not have sleeves, so I'm gonna go run and get some sleeves real quick. Be right back. Don't pull a boo, you guys. Always have sleeves on hand. Always have protection is what I like to say. Wow, the cut on this is actually really, really good as well. Oh my gosh, that centering. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it, baby. Oh my gosh, I cannot be happier right now. That is epic. So you only get like one to two amazing rares per booster box. So for us to get one in ETB out of eight packs, that's solid, man. That's pretty solid, especially because I haven't pulled a ton of Celebes. So I'm very happy to have almost like a perfectly cut Celebi right there. That is awesome. Let's get into this next pack. Fireball Barbie. It's a fireball, giraffe rig, whooper. I think we've seen pretty much all the artwork out of Vivid Voltage, and I must say it's probably one of my favorite so far from Sword and Shield sets. I love the artwork in the set. Reverse Hollow Trubbish and Terrakion. I also give mad props to Vivid Voltage for like single-handedly bringing back one prizer decks into the meta. I am so happy about that. For the longest time in Pokemon TCG, it was like tag team GXs. Now it's like Vs, V Maxes, face bomb energy, Barber. Um, but now Vivid Voltage has actually several cards that are one prizer cards uh, that are amazing, like super competitive against these giant. VMAX decks, which is awesome. Like, it's 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 awesome to see it because Pokemon has literally had a power creep for a while now, and uh, for them to be kind of raining in, raining in the rains, man. <laughs> for solo, oh my god, Drone Rotom and a Darmanitan. Oh, this has got to be one of my favorite cards in this set. I don't know why I love Galarian Darmanitan so dang much because his normal Darmanitan version, I absolutely despise more than anything, but some reason he turns into a Galarian Ice King and I just absolutely adore him. <laughs> he is gorgeous. Let's check out his moves. We have freezing headbutt for 50 for a water and a colorless. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and frozen slice for 190 for three, two waters. This Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. I'm just guessing that this is probably one of those decks that mains the VMAX because honestly, there doesn't seem like there's anything too crazy about this card. Uh, frozen slice for 190. It's kind of okay, but that's only because the existence of Frostmoth, which allows you to accelerate uh, water energy Energy, which is just so good in any water deck you play. Unfortunately, Galarian Darmanitan is an ice boy, which means he is weak to steel, which is not good because we know that Zacian is a very powerful deck out there in the meta. There's a ton of metal support, so if you go against any metal deck, you're kind of toasted unfortunately. So let's get this dude a sleeve. Honestly, his cut is okay. He's a little bit left heavy, but nothing too shabby. And then of course we have a lot of whitening on the edges there. Vivid Voltage has been terrible as far as quality control goes with the whitening, man. It's off the chain. Off the chain with that whitening. And we got a reverse holo a drone Rotom trainer card, which is bomb. All right, getting into our third pack. This is actually going really, really well. Much better than I thought it would be going. Um, I don't know if we're gonna pull anything else because we've already opened quite a bit, but let's see what we can get. Another Fireball. Dude, we've been getting lucky with these uh, 
these fireballs lately. C dot, electric, maybe that is some more good luck. Frampy, <gasps> there we go. Reverse hollow rare, Metagross, and a crocodile boy. We got a chunk at you. It's so cute. On uh, PTCGO, they have a giant artwork of him on like the main screen. And you can see in the background, there's like little mini explosions. <laughs> so cute. Eyeball energy, Nuzleaf wash energy. I'm actually so happy with the amount of uh, special energy I've been getting as well. I have a lot already, which I'm super hyped about. Wow, reverse holo Matang to go with a reverse holo Metagross. That's cool. And Lycanroc, non holo. Yeah. Okay, so we still have two packs left. Uh, honestly, maybe we might get another pull. We'll see. I'm just happy to be able to film a video before uh before the holiday. I hope you guys, whoever celebrates Thanksgiving, if you do, has a great Thanksgiving. Uh, Shepard Choodle, Choodle Boy, Duskull Reverse Hollow, and <gasps> oh, Hillbilly Boy! <laughs> oh my gosh, I will never get sick of seeing this Hillbilly Boy. I feel like this is my most pulled card from Vivid Voltage. Are you guys on the Steelix train? We pull so many of him, but that's okay. I just kind of wish he was a little bit better because I kind of, like I have so many, I could definitely make a deck out of him, but I don't, I don't really know how good he would be, honestly. Unfortunately for Steelix, they always make his moves like five billion energies, which is just so unattainable. I mean, it is colorless, so I guess that helps a little bit, but not really. Like when when you have a move that's five energies uh, and it only hits 210, yeah. <laughs> All right, last pack for this box. Honestly, even if we don't pull anything from this pack, um, this is actually a pretty solid ETB. Not to get a lie, could have been a lot worse for us. I've gotten ETBs where I pulled nothing before, so. Reverse hollow, bay bay bay, and, ooh. oh, Lucario, it's a non hollow, but I really, really appreciate that artwork. All right, so this is out of eight packs. No holographic, which is kind of interesting, which is okay with me. I'd rather take uh, a V over a holographic any day of the week. Three pulls out of eight? That's pretty solid, that's pretty solid. One being an amazing rare. I will take it. What do you guys think of the amazing rares as far as like rarity wise? Do you think it's cool that there's like one to two per booster box? Do you think they should be more rare than that? Do you think they should be less rare? I've kind of heard both sides of the story and I don't know, I don't know. I really hope they do continue doing amazing rares. I think they probably will since it's kind of a new thing they just uh, introduced, but who knows? Who knows what Pokemon's doing nowadays, you guys? This is a toss up. Send some good juju for this first pack. My goobs, you can do it. Honestly, every time I say that, it usually actually goes really well. <laughs> I have to start saying it less, otherwise we're just gonna wear it out and then it's not gonna work anymore. Aracuda, Nincata, Picky Peck, Turkey Boy, Reverse, Hollow, Lycanroc, that is Reverse Rare, so that's still pretty solid. Oh, <gasps> you did it! This is what I'm saying every time. I gotta stop doing it. I'm gonna wear it out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The full art of my favorite ice king. Oh. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I figured out why I like Galarian Darmanitan so much. It's because he reminds me of Mr. Popo. Oh my god! Dude, I love him so much. This full art is amazing. It's actually, it's so subtle and like so subdued that you wouldn't even really notice that this is a full art if you didn't see his normal artwork, but I love it. I actually dig that because it just lets him be the artwork. You know what I mean? They're like, come get his dad bod all oh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I love this Pokemon so much. Do you guys play um, the video game? Is he good in the video game? Because I really want to like have him on my team. I'm trying to see if I can, oh, he's kind of off-centered here. I'm trying to see if I can start like maybe live streaming or some sort of video series uh, playing the actual video game. Uh, Sword and Shield video game. I have Sword and I've been wanting to play it forever. And a bunch of comments in my last video were like, boom. So I was like, I don't know, man. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it. I've been wanting to play forever. It would definitely be casual. I'm, I'm definitely not like a competitive, um, like VGC broski. 
but I, I have too much competitiveness invested into the TCG. I can't go for the VGC as well. <laughs> Crabarants, we got that reverse hollow turkey berry and Zara Aura holographic. This is our first holographic and it's an electric boy. But yeah, I think it'd be kind of interesting because I haven't even like beat the first gym. So <laughs> you guys have probably already beat the game or like both games twice already, I don't know. And uh, I'm still like chilling on the first gym. <laughs> so maybe we could play through it together. I, I still have no clue like what the actual storyline is at all. So uh, I think it'd be kind of cool. Reverse hollow stadium for us there. And another Lucario, I love him. I love him, but I want his holographic. I really don't even know if this comes in hollow. Man, oh man, I'm so happy we got a full art pull. That is awesome. I think the best ETB I have seen is, oh man, I saw a secret rare and two full arts out of an ETB once and I was like, oh my god, oh my god. I was so, I was so, so hyped. Like, I wish I had that ETB luck, but usually I had that pre-release kit luck. Like, usually I pre pulled pretty well out of pre-release kits. Oh my gosh, no hits on that one. We have a couple of packs left. This might be, we have four packs left, so half the ETB. I just like looked over to make sure I was still recording because <laughs> I'm so scared that I'm not ever recording my videos now since I accidentally didn't record an entire video. Oh, oh, regrets, dude, regrets. Rockruff, Whimsor, Trubby Boy. Tynamo. Reverse Hollow Delmise. That is... Man, I thought that was a rare. I thought for sure, but that's just an uncommon. And... <gasps> Duraludon. So that is another white pack for us, but only a holographic. Still pretty solid. I've actually pulled like a pretty solid um, uh, variation of holographics for Vivid Voltage, so I don't have like complete play sets yet of the, uh, the hollows. So I'm down to pull some more hollows to complete some of those play sets, have four of each. Clabopus, Electrike, ooh, Reverse Hollow Whimsicott. Uh, I have this deck and I'm very excited. I kind of want to build it paper, even though I'm like not really playing paper right now, but I kind of want to build it paper. So I'm very, very happy to get a Reverse Hollow of that boy and <gasps> Grapple Locked. I really feel like someone insulted Grapple Locked. So they're like, yo, you're just an octopus, bro. Get out of here. You're such a lame Pokemon. And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna train for years. And then you're never gonna look at me like I'm a joke again. <laughs> He's just so built, dude. <laughs> okay, last two packs. What do we have here? Oh, monkey boy. Maybe the monkey boy will be our good luck for a monkey boy of our own. <gasps> I do have the monkey boy online. Uh, he's in like every single deck that I play him in. I'm like, yo, check out my, uh, my shiny Oranguru, hey! <laughs> Cause he's just a bench sitter Pokemon, like he chills, you play like a one or two of him in a deck and he chills on your bench the whole game. So that is what he is. Reverse Hollow Whoopie Boy and Electros Non-Holographic. Okay, I wasn't really expecting him. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting him out of an ETB, but that would be insane if we pulled him out of this pack. That'd be insane if we pulled really anything out of this pack. Let's go. Wishing for some good luck here. I'm not gonna force you guys to give me good juju on this pack because I feel like uh, I'm just gonna wear that out and it's not gonna work anymore. So no pressure. Guys, this one's not on you. It's all on me. Black Mamba energy. That's that's hype. I'm hyped about that. Maybe that'll give us some good luck here. Beldum, Milk Ball. Whooper, Ninkata in the in the center of a nose, baby. Hairy nose. <laughs> Reverse hollow. Loudred and oh no, Garboder. Non holographic Garboder for us on that one. So we also got three white packs out of this ETB as well with the two hollows and the full art. So it's looking like that's kind of kind of the jam from these ETBs. It's three white packs and five green codes with some uh, reverse hollows sprinkled in on top. So let me know in the comments what your guys' pull rates are for the ETBs. I mean, hey, even if you pull trash from them, at least you get these super cute chunky chew <laughs> sleeves as well. Oh my God, look at his arm, dude. It looks like a baby arm. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Muggles, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you stay safe and happy and healthy for this holiday and the rest of your lives as well. <laughs>
We will be doing a stream this Sunday opening. <gasps> A bunch of these! Oh my gosh! I'm so excited, beyond excited, to open some shiny bees. So hopefully we get some good pulls then. Also, thank you so much to all my patrons. I appreciate you all so much. I hope everybody has a great rest of your night. And I will catch you guys later. Bow, 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 bow.